Hi everyone. This is Ankur. I am an architect in a telecommunication company, Expo. And this is an experiment that we tried uh, in-house. If you love code reviews, listen to me. I have an idea for you and it's much better. If we talk of an alternate, it's customary, right? Alternate slide title, uh, the presentation title, I would say like code reviews, try it and you'll love it. So why do we do code reviews finally? Well, just to check that we have the tabs and the spaces in the right way and the code alignment works, right? Well, let's not be petty here. We should talk better ideas. So why code reviews finally? After all, it's quality. Code reviews ensure these in, in different uh, dimensions. If you look at functional, you can check for correctness and completeness of the implementations, uh, whether your code is accurate, it's precise, whether you have the intended test coverage, and there could be so many more things. So this is just a few things which I have noted. If you talk about non-functional, you would check that it's following the regulations and adheres to standards that it must, whether it is efficient, it's optimal or not, and uh, it'll do its job with the right kind of resources or hog a lot. So you need to keep that in check and that's where it really helps. And of course, internal quality, you would worry about coupling, modularity, cohesion, readability, reusability, so many things that you can worry about. And I'm, I know this list is not complete. And this also, it gives an opportunity to ask these questions about on these axes. So of course, code reviews are for quality. But is this the only concern? I say no. As a, a team or as a product team, you would have to worry on various different parameters like ownership of the code, that you know the code well, uh, and that you are able to support it, you are able to enhance it. Uh, your own knowledge, the personal technical knowledge, let's say, or knowledge of the industry, uh, new patterns or whatever you may call. It. Evolution evolving whether the product will live longer or not, whether you're innovating or not. And there could be some transformational uh, things that you want to take care of, which would be on uh, things like introduce new practices, et cetera. On these, you would worry about this. What if, did you consider, suggest better ways, ask about simplicity, but that's all you can do. Just ask about simplicity, suggest better ways. It might be too late. Remind about evolution, but the code is already implemented. Identify technical debt, but can't address it. Okay. And reviewer may come less prepared, uh, takes multiple cycles, doesn't really happen, too late. Okay, product knowledge, we want on all these axes, but the problem is the review may only be transactional. I may get involved in your implementation only for the purpose of the review. I may not understand the entire thing as a reviewer and focus on technical aspects alone. And you would focus on things that you know about and not go out of your way to discover other things that may be impacted, etc. Innovation, too late. Uh, can't bounce ideas of each other when you're doing offline reviews. Uh, transformation, you're not really together. Modernization or improved ways of working doesn't work. It feels like it's two forces are pulling on the other uh, on the opposite directions: the implementer and the reviewer, short term and the long term choices. So what do we do? Uh, this is what I think code reviews fare, uh, how they fare on the parameters. And can we do better? Yes, of course, we have pair programming. Being together is the key, Henry Ford also says. Okay, so you would get collaborative, you would work together with each other. It gives you an opportunity to exchange and introduce ideas much earlier, right? You would say turn left one block, like a navigator would, and the driver who's in charge of the keyboard would actually do accordingly or share a contrary idea and you would get discussing. Quality, 
That's the you alarm. You can have a few more seconds to finish up. Okay, okay. Quality, you make lesser mistakes. Possibilities, now these are real possibilities. It's the same slide as before. You evaluate more options. Product knowledge, you do get real true insights. People say, I have worked on that, on that now. Okay, individual knowledge, of course, you can give pinpointed feedback, ask for further reading. It is synergic. synergic. Innovation gives you a chance to sit together and think of ideas, bounce them of each other, and evolve. Transformation, yes, you're working together, so you, you can mend the ways, you can suggest ways of looking at things. And so people would generally say, let's try it out. I would say pair programming to the extent it can help at that stage of the uh, execution, it really works. And team bonding is what you get in addition. You have a sense of belonging. You, we know the thought process of the others. So shift left everything, do try this at home. And we all can do with some more pair programming. And for everything else, we have C++.